welcome back to Cracking the Cryptics and keeping two videos a day going even while we're on holiday this summer. Um, and of course Simon and I met up briefly um, on our holidays and there's a photo on Instagram and Twitter to show that. Uh, which I love the caption somebody sent in, now we find a remote pair. That was a lovely idea. Anyway, um, I'm quite excited today. This is going to be a gas speedrun video. I'm going to have a look at the next five gas puzzles, try and keep time with them as it were, both in terms of when they get released and how fast I can go. Now, Holiday might have affected Simon solving a little. I wonder if it'll affect mine. There's every chance. Uh, it also might affect my sound and video output. So we'll see how that goes too. Anyway, um, let's run through. Uh, first of all, actually, I must mention Grockle's fantastic um, heat wave uh, Sudoku relay kind of thing that we've got going on Patreon. That is the August reward and very popular it's proving. Grockles is a brilliant setter. It's a lovely idea in terms of expanding thermos and slow thermos. Um, do have a look at it. Heatwave because of the thermometer nature of the of the set of puzzles and we are getting solutions in so it is really doable. Um, it's not simple but it is good fun. And that's definitely worth mentioning. Along with our apps, we are finally working on an update to the chess app. So that should come soon. Well, it should come at some point soon as well. So loads going on. All the apps are available on the links under the video, along with the URLs for Discord and the Sudoku app, Sven's brilliant, sorry, the Sudoku pad, Sven's brilliant um, app for playing classic software in our Classic Sudoku in our software, not classic software in our Sudoku. Okay, holiday is taking an effect. Anyway, let's have a look at the rules of these five puzzles that I'm going to be attempting. They're all by Clover, Philip Newman, and Sam Kuppelman lines. The first one is by Clover, and it's Clock Face Sudoku. These are a bit scary. I've done one or two that have been very difficult. Um, around a white dot, digits ascend clockwise from a point to be determined. So um, they go clockwise and ascend. So they don't have to be consecutive. They just have to ascend from a clockwise, in a clockwise manner around a white dot. Around a black dot, they similarly ascend anti-clockwise. So I guess we could have one, two, four, eight, if that's not contravening any rules. That would be one way. But this could be the starting point. So actually it could go one, two, four, eight, which would be anti-clockwise around that one. Uh, no negative constraints. So that's quite a tricky rule set to get your head around. Um, then we have Renban by Sam, which is reasonably straightforward. The four digits on each line have to be um, consecutive digits, not necessarily in a consecutive order, but they have to be consecutive digits. So these ones could be one, two, three, and four. And if that was the case, obviously the one would be in this box because it couldn't be in this one. Um, then we will move on to personal space. This is a non-consecutive Sudoku, so you cannot have two digits that are consecutive in adjacent cells. So this can't be a three because it would be next to a four. Also, none of these can be a three because they'd be next to a four. So that gives you a sort of clue how you can go about that. Um, we've got irregular Sudoku by Clover, and this is just, well, not normal Sudoku rules for once. One to nine appear in each row and column, but not in every three by three box, but in every marked region. So some of those are three by threes, but other ones aren't. In fact, there's a big plus unusual shaped region in the middle there. And finally, we have bent diagonal Sudoku. Now, this you do need to be careful here. There are four bent diagonals in the grid, which must contain the digits one to nine. So I'll highlight one of those. Watch these central bits of these lines. This is one of the bent diagonals. So that set of cells contains the digits one to nine. And for instance, I will mark another one. That's one of the others that must contain the digits one to nine. So they're quite odd shapes and we haven't seen that on the channel probably ever before. So do give any or all of these a go on the links, the first five links under the video. 
Uh, rules are there as well. I'm going to start now. Let's get... Oh, hang on. I'm going to restart my clock each time if I remember. There we go. Let's get cracking. So, clock face Sudoku. So this must be where this begins. Nine must be the ending of this clockwise. So that's one or two. This could be four, six or seven. This is... One must be the beginning. So this is two or four. This could be six, seven, or eight. Ah, up here, we can fill in a two here because one must be the beginning. We go clockwise round to that cell. Now, is that too useful? Not obviously. Okay, this can't be the beginning here because it would, it can't be one or two. It sees both one or two. So three is the beginning and it must end in nine at most, if that makes sense. Um, obviously, you could go round the numbers again. Actually, that can't be a five. Not, ah, now that's interesting. Now this can't be a four. Now this must be the beginning of this circle because that can't be a one. So that can't be a four. We must have a four or five there, five or six here. And one in the box must now go here. So one of these is a one. Can I say it's not there? Yes, I can. This is anti-clockwise. So this must end there. It must start here with a three or four. This is six, seven or eight, and certainly not one. So we can fill in one there. That makes this a two. That puts two in one of these two cells. Do I know what this is? Not necessarily, but I know that four is in one of those two positions. Ah, I know where nine is in the in the box because it can't be in those cells, so it's there. Now, what about this black? I suppose, no, that's not very helped. Well, this has to be four or eight, but this is just anything else, so that's not so thrilling. What about this? difficult. It hasn't got a one on it, but after that I don't really know. Oh, this goes anti-clockwise. Ah, so this can't be a one. It goes this way round, does it? In which case I know that's a six. Yes, it does. Six, seven, eight, nine. Right, now we can maybe make some progress. So this is also anti-clockwise. Just have to be careful. That makes this a seven. This is anything else, that's fine. Uh, three, two, seven, eight. So nine now in column one has to be there. One of these is a six. It can't be there because this is clockwise. So that's become a five, that's become a four. This isn't six. This is seven or eight. That's a pair, so we've got two and three here. Four, seven, that's four or eight. Seven goes here. This now has to be a four for the clockwise. Eight there is not helpful, but we can finish six and two in the row. That's, that was never seven or eight, sorry. That's become an eight. Seven, six, eight, four and three to finish off. That's working okay there. Let's put that phone on silent. Um, one and five here, they can go in. Five, I say. Two, three, and four. Oh, well, I've got a circle. Uh, I've got a clockwise circle. So that must go two, three, four, mustn't it? I think so. Two, three. Yeah, that's not, therefore, a two, three deadly pattern. That's eight. This is four. Then we can do a nine here. Nine in row two is there. This is now a seven. By elimination, ooh, five, six pair, I can't resolve. That's an eight. One, three, and four, I should be able to do all of them. Now let's have a look down column four. Four, one, nine, eight, seven, uh, that's three or five. Right, what about this black? Two, three, that can't be one. Oh, this can only be five or six. Eight, nine, seven, one, four, two, three. So can that. That must therefore go two, three, five, six. So that's a three now. 
Um, one and three are here. Two and four are there in the row. Six must be here. Eight must be here. We've got a seven, nine pair. Two at the top. Um, uh, five, six pair there. That's not helpful. Seven, six, three, one, two, eight, nine. Oh, how are they not naked singles appearing? There is. There's a four there. One there. That is five or six. No, it's not. It's five. That's four. That's six. That's fixed the five. Six pair. My typing is getting worse. Um, seven and nine. And we get a nine and an eight. And that should finish it. There we go. So five minutes, 38 seconds. I... Felt, obviously, I could have been quicker, but I got some of the things going quite fast, and that's not an easy type of puzzle. I'm happy with that. Right, we move on to, what is this called? Renban, of course. Restart the clock. Let's get cracking. That set doesn't have a six on, so it's one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. That must be two and three. This must actually be four, five, because it can't have a one. Um, eight in the box is there. That is seven or nine. Now this doesn't have two, and, oh no, that doesn't have a four on it. So it's five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine. So eight and seven are there. This must now be five and six. That worked quite symmetrically. Four is in one of those two cells. And interestingly, actually, four is also in one of those two. So, and five's in one of those two. Maybe it's not that helpful. Five always had to be on the line. Ah, six is not on that Renban line. So it's two, three, four, five. So three is in one of those. Two's in one of them. And the top three in the box must be... One, seven, six, and I can fill those in. Five, eight, four, so two, three, and nine. That's a nine, because two, three are in the box. Seven and one can go in. Is one on the line? That would be very restrictive. In fact, six isn't on this line, so two, three, and four are. Ah, and those must be from two, three, and four, because there's a one or a five on it as well. So in fact, th no, that's not a sound conclusion. This is a naked single nine though. That's a six, eight pair. Four has to be here somewhere. Did four, it doesn't have to be in one of those two, no. But these can only be four, oh look, four is not on that line. So this is five, six, seven, eight. So I can put in six, eight, Five, seven. This is a one, four pair, so I can do them. Two, three along the bottom. Seven, six, three, four, eight, five. No, not so helpful down there. Let's go back up here. That's a seven, nine pair. So that is from two, three, and four as well, which. Ah, these can't have a four on. So they must have a seven on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. At seven, six, and eight are on those. So seven's in one of those cells, and in one of those, and there. Excellent. Um, one must be there. Oh yes, let's look down column one. Three there, and a two, four pair above it. That's forming another two, four pair. Probably not that helpfully. Those have been sorted out. One and nine there. One, nine, that's six or nine. Don't know how that works. Six, three, eight, seven, two, four, three. Oh, come on. I must have more information than I'm realizing. Five, does five have to be on this line? No, we worked out that either one or five is in one of those two. Um, eight, three, five, seven, four. So six, one, two, and nine. Two is there. Six is up here. Oh, I don't know how this works. Um, right, I'm going to have to focus on these. 
This can't be five, one, four, or three. There's a seven on the line, so there can't be a two on it. Oh, what am I missing here? One could be on this line. It could be one, two, three, four. Eight, seven, five. Oh, come on, Mark. Think. Right. Four has to be somewhere there. So we can place four on this Renban line. It has to be there. It does nothing else for me. Um, that's two. Or, oh, no, that's a three because it sees a two at the bottom. So that is fixing. Ooh, if I was... What have I messed up there? That's, sorry, accidentally mishitting buttons. That's a naked single nine. Right, three, four pair. This is two and five, and they can be filled in. That's one or nine. So five in the column is there, and five goes in the central box. Now, this has to have a one on it, and therefore it's from one, three, and four, which form a triple. This is nine. That's two, that makes this six and this one. Nine and one are resolved. One is resolved there. Six, eight, and nine. I'm still gonna have to use this Renban line. Two, seven, and eight in that column. So it can't be two on the line because seven's on the line. Right, so six, nine, seven, eight line. Um, and now we are cooking with gas, doing a gas puzzle. That is three or four, so the one in the row is there. That's not a one. Seven and eight are resolved. That does seven and nine. That does six and nine. Oh, uh, two, three, four, that. Hang on, what's happened in this row? I've got two ones up here. Ah, okay, we rewind back to where I put the one in. So this is a three, four, nine triple. So that's not one, that's nine. This is one. So my apologies there, that's a two. That fixes four and two. Yeah, maybe maybe don't take holiday and try and do Sudoku on it. Uh, right, that seven, eight pair is resolved. This seven, nine pair is resolved. This six, nine pair. And now we can finish off with six, three, Four and three, and that's still not too bad. Bit of a hiccup in the middle, six and a half minutes. Let's move on to puzzle three, personal space, start it again. Oh, this is the non-consecutive. Oh, I never do these quickly. So six is in one of those cells because it can't be next to five. Five must go there because it can't be next to six. So fives, probably we can fill in all the fives, yes. Now, what about sixes? They can't be six and that can't be six. So six is in one of those two and one of those two. Can't be there, there or there. Ah, can't be anywhere touching this five. So six is in one of those two. So the six in the column is there. Can't be next to the five. So... Oh, that can't be a six, it sees a six there, right. Six, one of those is a six. So the six in column eight is there, can't be next to the five again. Um, that six would be next to a five. So is it, that must have done all the sixes now. Yeah, so they're done. Let's think, do we think about fours or sevens? Let's think about sevens. Can't be next to the eight or there. This might be a terribly bad choice. Right, seven can't be there and it's not there and it can't be there. So seven in the central box is here. Therefore there in box six. Um, right, also can't be anywhere touching that six or those. So seven is there. Oh, but I don't know which of those. That's surprising. Now, seven has to be in one of those. It can't be touching the six. One of those can't be touching the six here or touching that six. So it's in the bottom row there. 
can't be touching that one or that one or in the bottom row or there. So it's in one of those two positions. Ah, seven probably wasn't a good choice. So let's go back to fours then. Four in one of those two. Can't be touching, oh, can't be touching that five. So four is there and there. Can't be touching that five or in those or there. So four, oh, can't be touching that five. So that fixes the sevens in, oh, well, in box one and seven anyway. Uh, four, four, that can't be four. So that's a four, that's a four. That can't be, so four is there. And one of those two positions, no, not that one. Sorry, that is clear. So yeah, following the right digit at the right time is quite profitable here. Now, do I go for eights or threes? I've got one given in each. Let's do eights. That immediately looks not smart. No, let's do threes. That's a three. That's a three. That's not. So one of those two is a three. Down here, ah, uh, could be anywhere in those. That can't be a three. Oh, that can't be a three for being next to a two. Okay, that is useful. I've really only been focusing on being next to fours, but I do have a given two. So three goes in there. Now three must be there. That is fixing our remaining sevens. Let's get rid of the others. Three, three, three in one of those. Yes, it has to be here. And that's done all the threes. Right, this is an eight, nine pair. That has to be eight, that's nine. This is a one, two pair. I can do them as well from the central column. Must be able to do eight and two there. One and nine, no. Um, nine is in one of those two cells. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, nine's not a smart thing. Let's let's do twos. Let's just try and be a bit more rigorous and methodical. Two can't be there or there. So it's in one of those. So now it's in one of those two. That must be the two, therefore, in box one. Ah, uh, okay, then it's there in box four. But one of those in box seven. Hmm, so I can't finish off twos. How about ones? Those can't be ones now. So one there. That must be one. That's fixing the rest of box one. Two and nine here are done. I think I'm finishing off eight I can't because it's next to two. Then we've got nine, one, two, eight. Thank you, pencil marks. We've got eight there because it's next to one, two, that's two, one and nine. Yes, we can do them now. One and eight up here and a nine to finish. And we're finishing off with an eight and a nine. That is an approachable non-consecutive Sudoku. Really good introduction. And for all the puzzles, including in our app, where non-consecutive Sudoku comes in, that is a useful one. So give it a try. Um, right, let us move on to the next one, the irregular, restart my clock. Okay, so in this, we've got five and six in that region. One, three, and four down here. That can't be one, that can't be three in the column. Yeah, we can fill in eight and nine. Again, five and six can't be there, so... They can go in one. That's a naked single two. That's one and four. Uh, this must be a nine eight to complete the shape. So that's one, two, three, seven, four. In fact, that one is a naked single. But that means these are six and nine. But I don't actually know the order. Oh, I do. If I think about the law of leftovers on these three shapes. That has to be the same as that. So that's a six, nine there. That is a seven, six pair in column two. Five must be there. I can do three and four, one. Oh, this is coming together. Bit of experience on a regular Sudoku's clearly helps a lot here. Eight and nine in column two are straightforward. 
That must be eight and seven. Four, five, and six to go in the column. Five there. Oh, don't know about four and six, surprisingly. This shape, though, I can do the nine, and then I can separate the one and the two. That's a naked single seven, so I can do the eight and the three. Four, three, nine, seven, five and one in these two cells. Two and six on the left side. Seven, four, nine up here. I'll come back to that. Um, that's now a naked single, obviously. That's a four, that's a one. This is three, one and four. The law of leftovers, yes, that becomes a four. That's a one. That four has made this a six and that a four. Six, five, three, one, nine. So two must be there. Eight must be there. This is a four, seven pair that aren't resolvable at the moment. Oh, I can now come back to this four, seven, nine group. Then we get the three and the five. Nine is there, that's a naked single. Eight, six and seven, they are resolvable, unsurprisingly. Seven and four. Oh, and I've mistyped. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. Oh, well, I've got to the end of the puzzle and it's rejected it, that's what's happening. So this was a mistyped one. And there's a miss. Oh no, I've gone wrong. Two sevens in the bottom row. Oh, I've gone wrong in these two digits because of that one being mistyped as a two. Right, my apologies there. There we go. That does it. I'm, I'm still claiming that three minutes and three seconds time just from a mistype there. I'm not, not too bothered about that. Sorry if you are. And one more to go, is it now only? So, um, felt like I'd only done three, but here we go with the bent diagonals. Now, these are a bit complicated. Let's restart the clock and see how this goes right across the middle um, no down seven is in one of those cells maybe maybe this isn't the way to look at it i don't know that i can use the diagonals much can i oh yes i can there's got to be a three on this diagonal it can't be in either of those boxes and it can't be there, so that's a three. Ah, okay, maybe that's the way to attack this. Uh, so two on this bent diagonal, you know the one I mean, has to be in one of those two cells. Therefore there's, oh no, it could be there, but no, it can't be there. It's got to be on one of those two cells on the diagonal. So three ends up being on one of these. Now in a regular X, so in a regular X Sudoku, it couldn't be here because of that, but that's not the same diagonal. Now there is a three on this diagonal. So that has now got to be here. Oh, it's a strange rule, isn't it? Um, there's also a three on this diagonal, but we've done it, so it's not there. So the three in column two is there. That gives us a three and all our threes are done and they look right. Um, so let's find another digit. Four has to be on this diagonal somewhere. And it's got to be there, I think. One has to be on this diagonal. Do you see, I mean, you see the one I'm trying to do. I'm trying to show you this diagonal. Therefore, it's got to be in a pair with twos. In fact, one has to be here. Two, that fixes the two. Four. So then one has to be on this bottom diagonal as well. It has to be there. Six, seven, eight, nine still to go on it. Six can't be there or there. Hmm. That's where one is in column nine. I think I'm finished on ones. No, I've got a last one to put in. That fixes two. One of those is a two. So this diagonal needs a two. It's got to be there. Yeah, I'm sure that's right. Then there's a two up here somewhere. Those days. Yes, so basically these four digits are always going to be the same as those four. That's what I'm gradually learning. So four is not in those two. It must be in one of those two cells. 
Um, therefore, yeah, so four must be on this diagonal, not there, in one of those two. These must be two and four. Eight, three, five, one, seven, two, four. This is a six, nine pair in the middle. I can actually fill them in. Yeah, this takes a bit of getting your head around this puzzle. Seven, eight, it's now a pair there. That's a nine. Yeah, a bit of regular Sudoku is balm to the soul. Nine and four, five and eight. There's a pair there. Let's have a look along here. Where does four go along here? It's got to be there to be on the diagonal. Uh, that makes that a two and that a four. Actually, that was never a two. Um, that is five or eight, but five is already on all the bent diagonals, so that's an eight. Four, two, yeah, five, seven, and nine in the column. Ah, eight's on this bit of the diagonal, so it must be on this bit of the diagonal. So one of those is an eight. That combines with an eight in one of those to give us an eight here in row two. Then we've got a five nine pair to complete the row. I shouldn't have put those in as that sort of pencil mark. They should be that sort. Far, no, four, eight, two, three, one, eight must be not on this diagonal or there. So eight's in one of those two cells. Have got that another way. Um, six, two, one, three, eight. Four is up there. Nine is down here. That's just not advancing anything. Nine, four, three, seven, one. Two's up there. Six is down here. Okay, what about this bottom diagonal? Three, eight, two, five, four, one. So the others are six, seven, and nine. That one can't be a seven. So seven is in one of those two cells. So that's five or nine. Two, four, one, three, seven, nine. That's five, six, or eight. Is there some sort of triple along here now? Can't see it. Okay, what about the top diagonal? Very little done on there. Ah, four, one, five, three, two. So nine has to be in a corner. Both of those corners, oh no, they don't both see that cell. Bother, this is not an X Sudoku, so that doesn't work. So these are from six, seven, and nine. These are from, mm, come on, that's five, six, or seven. Just what are the possibilities? There's lots there and there. I know we can't have five there because there's already a five on all of the bent diagonals. So there's fewer possibilities. Six, seven or eight there. So one of those is an eight and the other one is whatever that is. I cannot see my way through this quickly at all. I'm a little surprised it's unique. Three, one, six, two, four. So five, seven, or nine there. That doesn't seem to help. Five, seven, or eight there. Oh, come on, Mark. Find whatever you're missing. It's not in ones, twos, threes, or fours. It's unlikely to be in fives that I'm missing something obvious, I would have thought. So, four, twos, one, two. I mean, these can be anything from five, six, seven, or eight. So if that was a nine, this would be a six. We'd have to have eight and seven on this bent diagonal. That would make that a six, seven pair. It would, I mean, it just would, that's fine. So maybe if the nine in the top row was, 
Did I? Yes, I worked out that there is a nine in the top row on this bent diagonal because it needs a nine. So that's not a nine. So that's five or seven. Now this box is looking a bit restricted. Six is on the diagonal. So six has to be on this end of this diagonal. Not If six is on that diagonal, it's not in those cells and it's not there either, but it is in one of those two. Oh, come on, this feels like we're getting a bit closer to finding out. Ah, oh, nine is now in one of those two, so that's not nine. We can fill in that as nine. This now becomes a seven. Now it's 3872 on those four, so 3872 up here to be the complement of the other lines. That becomes a six, that's the nine. Six and nine. Yeah, so that's six. Oh, that, look at that pencil marking. Six and nine staring at a six there. That is embarrassing. Five, seven. So that's not seven or eight. And this isn't seven or eight. There, yeah, five, six, five, eight. So they're all done. Four and five there. Don't know how that goes. Oh, that's a five. Nine there, five and eight are sorted out. Wow, I really got stuck there, didn't I? Disappointing, um, just from not spotting one bit of pencil marking, I think. That can't be six, that's six. This is two or five. No, I don't know that it's two. Still can't do the five, four there. Nine, five, one, eight, two, three. That's where six is in the first column. Four and seven. This is a five. Seven and eight. That's a five. We go up to a two there. Five and two. And for no reason, that's taken me 10 minutes, give or take a second. 9.59 is on my clock. Bit disappointing that. Should have got through that a bit quicker, but generally, Lovely puzzles again. I mean, really entertaining, clever puzzles. I think, for me in the end, rather surprisingly, this bent diagonals took a little more thought than all the others. It, it, it was a little less intuitive to work out how those diagonals worked, but pleased to have got through it, I have to say, and delighted to finish another brilliant set of gas puzzles by Sam Phillip and... Clover, they really are always excellent. They're on the Daily Sudoku channel on the Discord server if you want to do them each day when the one comes out each day and they are well worth the effort. Thank you so much as always for following and bearing with me during this holiday broadcast and I'll see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.